In 2022, Five Rivers Health Center opened a brand new facility in the Edgemont neighborhood on the west side of Dayton. Inside, its walls showcase a who's who of Dayton area artists. Five Rivers Health Centers is a nonprofit community health center, and we are here to serve patients with primary care, and we turn no one away. We see patients regardless of their ability to pay. This site is the largest federally qualified health center site in Ohio. When we initially started, we served 12,000 patients, 45,000 visits. We're now up to 27,000 patients, over 90,000 visits a year. So it's all about access. When we decided several years ago to consolidate some of our smaller clinics, we looked around the community and tried to find a place that made sense for us and was close to our patients. And the Edgemont property that used to be Whittier School many, many years ago was ideal. And we decided to build this facility. It is 84,000 square feet. It is very large, but we provide so many services and resources here that our patients can really come here and know that they're coming to a one-stop shop. When we first started working with our architect, consultants proposed to us why don't you purchase 20 pieces of framed art this size and you know 20 stock photographs this size and that's how you will decorate your space we started talking to terry welker who is the amazing sculpture artist that did the piece in our main lobby and he said you know there's a very wonderful group of local artists here in the dayton area and you ought to talk to them that was the starting point, and we started realizing, let's do it local. Let's make sure to support the local artists, and let's make sure that we are bringing the community into the space and into the building, and that's what we did. Five Rivers has the best art collection in town. The commitment they made to the local arts is phenomenal. Kim and Gina came to visit my studio and we talked about what they were looking for and they looked through my art and I had some pieces that were perfect for the pediatric center. I had a few pieces that were great for the women's center. And then at that point they asked, well, we don't know how to put this all together. Could you help us? And I said, sure, I'd love to. After I saw Five Rivers Health Center and I saw they still had some blank walls. They have 88 exam rooms. I felt they needed art. And I just started to think, you know, pediatrics, it would be really great to get some kids art. And so I went into Dayton Leadership Academy and Louise Troy Elementary, which is right down the street. And these kids see the health center. And so it was really special working with the local kids. It's very abstract, but what they really worked with was color and movement. We really talked about emotions and feelings. And I would ask them, if you're going to the dentist, what kind of color do you want to see on the walls? Oh, we want something calm. We would like some blues and some teals. And these kids learned how to mix all those colors on their own. They learned about tints, tones, shades. And by the end of the project, if I would ask, oh, could you just stir me up a teal? They could do it. They really understood it. Currently, the collection is about 150 pieces total. And we have supported 70 local artists. And that includes not just individuals, but also student groups from the two schools that Amy Deal worked with and We Care Arts. So there's a wide array of works and looks. The collection is very diverse. We wanted to make sure that since we're in the heart of an African-American community, that we involve the African-American visual artist skilled to be a part of it. And then we had fun shopping at Front Street Galleries with all of those wonderful artists. 
In addition to supporting artists that are known in the community, we also have art from individuals who have never sold their works before. They may never have been included in any kind of public or community space or exhibited their works. And that was really exciting to talk to our staff and have someone say, well, my dad's a painter. He's retired from GM, but he paints in his garage and he has this amazing artwork. And we would go take a look and then we would purchase a couple of pieces. So that's been awesome to share works with the community from artists that are not well known yet, but hopefully they will be. Many of our patients don't get the chance to see art every day. And so to have it as a part of their healthcare, I feel this is part of our healing touch that we're doing from a visual perspective. And because we put a little bit of information about each artist through the QR codes that we have, they can get to learn a little bit more about the artist as well. My favorite piece is called Yes We Can by Andrea Cummings, and it displays a black ballerina doing ballet pointed toe. And so when I was growing up, my instructor told the class that African Americans don't do point. And it was a little offensive when I went home to tell my mother, and she's like, you are going to do toe. Now there's so many African American ballet dancers who do um, point but I was the only one in my dance troupe who did ballet on point. I find myself having a different favorite every week. <laughs> I tend to really find myself enjoying the second floor, the Dayton gallery wall, because it's got a lot of different photographs, paintings, prints of places and spaces around Dayton. So there are some shots from Carillon Park and the VA Cemetery. And so that wall of multiple pieces is one of my favorites. We are open to the public. And so even if you're not a patient at Five Rivers, we would love to have you come in and experience the local art that we have in the building. They could probably see almost about 50% of the art. The other 50% are behind locked doors. It's in an exam room, it's in a conference room. You need a badge to get through, but it would be our pleasure. Stop by, we'd love to show it off. This building is a show place. If you haven't had a chance to see it yet, and the fact that it's right here within the West Dayton neighborhood of Edgemont is just a cherry on top.